Hi, it's Marco from Music Radar, and we're here at the Vox stand at NAMM 2016 with Freddie DeMarco, who's going to take us through the new tube from Vox. All right, new tube. Uh, Vox is using a small little tube. That's it up there. You can actually see it. In fact, I'll grab this for you. It's this size, but yet it's a real tube. So for any tech people that understand tubes, it's built like a regular tube. In other words, there's an anode grid filament encased in a glass vacuum housing. But the thing is that it runs on 2% of the power a regular tube does, which means it can be mounted on a complex circuit board without too much heat, no socket. The amps are lighter weight. It can fit into pedals, into rack mount units. Um, but it gives the reaction of an actual tube. So I have a 150 watt amp right here that's got a new tube preamp suction and a new tube power amp suction. And it's at 150 watts. So I got real headroom and feel of a tube. So this is the vintage. So it's got two channels, but yet four modes, a vintage and modern each one. Here's the vintage. It's real responsive to my pick attack and uh, If I bring up that gain a little bit, I'm going to get some nice harmonic distortion from the two. If I go to the modern mode, it breaks up very boxy in sound. If that's the clean channel, if I dime out the clean, I can get some really nice classic rock. Now, I go over to the gain channel, which is the lead channel. There's a vintage mode, so I could get drop that gain to get some real cool power blues being two. I could crank that, that vintage channel, I'll bring down the master some. And I'm getting that some really cool uh, 80s kind of distortion. Then you have the modern, and it's total shred and heavy. Very heavier than you may be used to for Vox. There we go. Real buttery to play on. On the vintage gain, I could really play like an old school uh, tube amp. Check it out. I can lower, lower my volume. But underneath it, I have all the hair. response to you as a musician. A couple of cool features on the back of it, it has a wet out, so I can put an external extension speaker and my loop, whatever's going through the loop, the delay for example, would go only to, only to that speaker, so I'd have a wet and dry mix without having to use two amps. And it can go from 5 watts all the way up to 150 with a switch on the back, so... I mean, when are they expecting uh, this to launch? We uh, really don't have a launch date on it, so I'm not really, I can't really answer that, I don't know, but they're trying to rush. What will happen for sure, I believe, is the amps over the processing. You know, they have the, the preamp rack mount. I think the amps is what's going to come out first. So I don't have an exact week or month yet, but it's around the corner. Great. All right.